All right, hello everyone and welcome to Grand Theft Space, where today we are going to be launching Franklin here into the great beyond. And I am very excited about this. Now, of course, what we're actually doing is playing a really cool new mod that just released for GTA 5 this week, which goes by the name Grand Theft Space. And what it does is that it adds into this already gigantic gigantic game, the ability to go into space itself to explore, I believe, 11 different planets and three different moons, and that is super awesome. I really can't wait to start playing this mod today, as of course, I do enjoy the Grand Theft Auto franchise, and well, I love anything space. And in fact, this mod has made me so excited to come back to Grand Theft Auto that, well, I am back into the game. I haven't played it for about a year because I, I really don't care much for online. I only really play single player with GTA. And so, yeah, after I finished all that, I really haven't touched it in a very, very long time. But this mod has brought me back and I am happy about it. Now, uh, we are here, of course, at the air base because, well, when you do load in this mod, you'll get this little star right here to go and meet Colonel Larson and that starts off the whole Grand Theft Space thing. Now basically we have to go talk to him and apparently he's going to introduce us to a small little storyline that inevitably leads us to being launched into space on a freaking space shuttle and that is a wonderful thing so let us just get started by going inside uh, now I should mention I did turn off the player wanted level because well I wanted to get in here without getting killed that's generally a wonderful thing and uh, yeah now I'm not entirely sure where I need to go I've never actually come into the tower here before do we have to take the stairs or can we use the elevator Oh boy, there's stairs. Let's go check the elevator. Let's uh, let's let's do that real quick. Okay, and oh, thank crap. There's an interact thing, and there we go. Now, do we have to wait for elevator music or something, or can we actually just leave this thing? We can leave. Oh, oh, oh! There it goes. It closed back on us for a second. Wonderful. Okay. Can we actually take the stairs all the way back down, though? I am a little bit curious about... Oh, my God, the stairs are over there. Nope, nope, elevator is just fine for me. Let's go find Larson and get this whole thing moving. As I want to get into space, I want to see other planets and, you know, moons and stuff. That sounds like fun. Ooh, now I don't know if there's any voice acting in this mod, so we may need to read some things on the screen here. Let's, uh, let's find out Ooh, by talking babe. to the colonel. You know Evening, like. comrade, our scientists. Oh, I missed the first sentence. From the satellite dishes, you need to get the data over to them. They say it's very urgent. After you do that, the scientists will analyze the data. Shit, okay. Day. And they will tell you what it signifies. Report back to me, and then I will decide further action. All right, wonderful. Now, that first sentence went a bit too quickly yeah, there, okay. but um, I'm guessing we need to go to something marked on the map. Oh, do we actually have to leave here or um, exit the tower, or can we just go straight to the map? You know what? I'm going to try the map, considering I do have Native Trainer on. We are just going to teleport right the heck over here, and, uh, oh! Oh, it's over there! Yeah, where the... All, yes, he did say the satellite dishes, so obviously we would go to the area where the satellite dishes are. Of course, finally my brain catching up. Okay, let's uh, go into the trainer and just teleport ourselves over there to save some time. Ooh, oh, oh god, we are literally like right on it. Hello, computer! Alright, so we just have to check the dishes data. Which is an animation of typing. How many of these do we have to do? All of the dishes. It looks like six total, including the one we just did. Okay, this actually... <laughs> oh boy, this may take a bit to do this first part, and it does seem to be just literally interacting with a laptop on a dish. So let's, uh, let's see how quick it takes to get up to this one. 
So if it takes too long, I might actually uh, fast forward us through this a bit. Because, well, yeah, you guys don't really need to see me just climbing up and down these things. Oh boy, almost past it. Yes, it is literally just interacting with these laptops. All right, I am going to then bring you guys back after I finish the last four as well. Frankly, I doubt you want to see me just running around these things. So yeah, I will uh, see you guys in a sec. Okay, and bringing you guys back for the last one here. It's gone pretty smoothly, of course. No uh, strange things happening or occurring while we go by the dishes. Just, you know, climbing up and down each one and interacting with a laptop. Now I'm wondering if anything will happen now. Well, data collected. <laughs> okay, well, we got that at least. Okay, go to the humane labs and give the data to the scientist. All right, that means going back to the map and teleporting there. Oh, God, you have to love the trainer. Okay, we'll go right there and then just, uh, you know, warp ourselves right over. Perfect. Okay, now how do I... Oh, God, how do I get in there? This is another place I haven't been in a very long time. <laughs> Oh boy, uh, where do I go actually? They seem to be in, oh, there we go, I see a yellow thing. Oh, thank God, I was worried I might have to find an entrance. Okay, cool, so, enter. Ah, another elevator. I'm assuming we can just go straight in, perfect. Ooh, hello, hi everyone. Are we, are we working with cool space things? Perhaps aliens, that would always be awesome. Ooh, dark, ominous room full of scientists. Okay, let's uh, read the the bottom lines real quick. Thanks. Thanks? Oh, he actually didn't talk, just the dramatic delivery is successful. Alrighty then, exit the lab. <laughs> I was expecting a little bit more from this, but okay. I mean, it's just the, you know, story to get us a two space so if it is a little tiny bit contrived oh well so yeah back to the kernel which again means beautiful teleportation and then we hopefully go to space after that i don't know i don't know how long this whole mission is going to take us so there we are another quick teleport oh i was a little off of the tower hmm, okay note to self Go closer next time. And I'm a little bit tempted to take the stairs just out of spite. <laughs> but no, no, no. We, we, we want to get to space. We want to do this quickly. Thus, elevator. Oh. All right. Okay, Wanda. You must be alone right now. Oh, oh, who's Wanda? Larson, is that you? <laughs> I'd love to be in there with you. We oh, I don't think that's Larson. So oh, boy. All right, so let's see what Larson has to say and hopefully read it quick enough. Hello again, sir. Good work, soldier. On your way back, I got word from the lab that we're detecting large gravitational wave frequencies. It's hard to pinpoint exactly what the location is, but I need you to go out there and find out what's going on. Yes. We haven't heard from our Mars research team in weeks, so your best bet is to work your way there. Oh my god, we're going to Mars. Oh yeah, and don't be afraid to look around. You might find some little knickknacks scattered across the solar system. No, oh, yeah, you know, just you know, pop out for a bit. Good luck. <laughs> yeah, thanks a lot. Yeah, yeah, cool. I'm, I'm going to space. That was easy. Man, if only it was that easy in real life. Briefing complete. Awesome. <laughs> Go to space. The best quest marker ever. All right, so let's... Oh boy, where are we going? I have new idea. Oh, oh, little rocket thing. Oh, God. Will it waypoint out there? Oh, thank God there's a waypoint. <laughs> All right, well, let's waypoint out six... Six miles, was it? Yep. Cool. All right. Well, let's uh, let's teleport. Oh my God, I'm here. Oh my God, where am I? I am under a space shuttle, I think. Okay, let's uh, go out this way and actually ch take a look at this place. So are we? <laughs> We're on like an island out in uh, out in the ocean that they built. And holy crap, there's a space shuttle. Uh, oh yeah. 
That's a beautiful sight. Oh god, I want to kind of explore this place a little bit though here first. What uh, what all we got here? We have a hangar with a runway that really is not a runway. We got some helipads. We have what looks like a dock facility over here. Hmm, perhaps we should have flown, seen more of the place. But yeah, it looks like a little island place out here that they've built for this launch pad. Okay, yeah, you know what? We're going to space. To heck with the island. I care not for what it is. Oh, but there's other things. There's buildings. Hmm. Perhaps we'll explore at a later date. Let's go back to the shuttle. See what we uh, see what we have to do to actually go into this thing. I mean, it did tell us to go to space. Oh, God, we just have to be here. Press F to enter. Wow, that's easy to get into a space shuttle. Oh, oh God. Oh, God, we're in a space shuttle. Press space bar to launch. Oh, yeah. okay, first off. Oh, yeah, look at that. Just a cute little island. Aw, how nice. How nice. And uh, let's fire this baby in three, two, one. Lift off. Awesome. Awesome. Oh my god, we're going to space. <laughs> oh, there go the SRBs. We still got the fuel tank though. At least, at least for now. Still burning. Burning hard. We're doing well. Alright. I'm not controlling this whatsoever. We seem to be just in an animation here. I like it though. Oh, there goes the fuel tank. Primary fuel tank released. We're on our own power now. I mean, it works, I guess, for GTA physics. <laughs> it's certainly no Kerbal Space Program, but uh, I can dig it. Oh, look at that. We got the curvature of the Earth and everything. That is wonderful. My God. So awesome. Um, do I gain control at any point? Right now, we're still just kind of... Flapping in the wind here like those. Oh, oh, we're loading. Oh, okay. So we're officially loading into space. Oh my God. Ooh, we could go to Venus over there. So can I? Oh my God. <laughs> we can fly the space shuttle. Awesome. How? <laughs> how do I? How do I? How do I do? How do I do this? Oh, stall low airspeed. Oh, oh God, are we trying to fly this like a plane? Oh God, okay, hold on one moment. We gotta pause. <laughs> like I said, I haven't played this game in a, like a year. Oh my, oh, we have a spacesuit. We have a spacesuit. I've forgotten how to fly planes. I haven't been in this game for so long. Settings, to the settings. Oh God, I'm on the keyboard and mouse. How do I fly? <laughs> Oh, no, no, back here, back here. There we go. Now scroll down. Uh, nope, that's not that's not key settings. Key bindings, that's what I needed to go to. Oh, boy. Okay, okay. Vehicle, aircraft, that's what we need. Throttle up W, throttle down S. Okay, and then y'all left and right with the A and the D. Okay, that seems... Uh, we're gonna die. We're gonna die. I'm going to kill us all in this aircraft. Okay, well, let's let's try and fly. <laughs> Alright, that should be that should be good enough. Hopefully. Or we're all going to perish. Throttle up. Ah, yes, it is throttling. Okay, now, um... Ah, I forgot I have to click the, and hold the mouse button to actually move... Ooh, let's visit the International Space... Ooh, boy, that's... that's... that... Oh, boy, controlling, this is hard! I want to go visit the International Space Station! Come back! I see it! <laughs> oh, this is... This is difficult. <laughs> Maybe I should switch over to my controller. I mean, I do have a controller. I just never plug it in, because I don't like them. Oh, hello! Can we visit you? I don't know. I'm having a very hard time controlling this thing. Uh, oh, oh god, I think we just returned to Earth on accident. Yep, we've returned to Earth on accident. Oh boy, oh, okay. Well, huh. Well, this is cool at least. We're getting to see how, how the landing flight works. I mean, I have no control again, which frankly is probably a good thing after what I just did in orbit. Oh boy. 
Though, does that mean we have to go back through that long loading scene to get back into space? I mean, we are having a long loading scene here for landing. But yay for our island of wonders down there. Oh, yeah, you can see the, the, the downtown and everything. All the little buildings popping out. God, this game does a really good job at, you know, distances. How do I... How long is this going to take to load back to Earth? So, yeah, note to self, if we get too close to Earth, we actually, um, you know, return to it. So, let's wait for it to actually get us landed here. I'll launch us back into space, and we're going to try and just head straight to Mars. <laughs> actually get some, get some story or something out of this. Now, of course, since I do have the trainer on, we actually could just teleport ourselves to the various places. But I, I want to I wanna do the, the flying. We have a shuttle, for God's sakes. I want to use it. Oh, man, this is a long sequence for landing. But I want to also see how it does it. What it does. If we're going to end up in that little uh, hangar area that we saw earlier. But yeah, it definitely is a very awesome mod. I mean, for, we're, we were in space. If only I could fly better. Hmm. Yeah, I think I may have to fast forward this along too, because dear lord, this is a very long landing sequence. So yeah, I'll bring us back when we're soon to be landed. A lot of a lot of fast forwarding today. There we go. So guys, funny story. Now you know how we were just flying a space shuttle? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't have a space shuttle anymore, as you can obviously see from me now floating in space. But uh so what had happened right after I told you guys that oh yeah, I'll fast forward to when we're back on the ground, blah blah blah. I f I figured that the landing was like how the launch was, that you had no control. <laughs> Turns out you do. You actually, once you're back in Earth orbit, uh, or Earth atmosphere rather, have full control of the shuttle. And, well, you all know my flying abilities if you've watched my Kerbal Space Program videos. So, I crashed the space shuttle and, yeah, tried and hoped that maybe if I returned to the island where we launched from, there might be another. <laughs> There's not. That shuttle's gone now. And then hoped maybe perhaps I could find it in the vehicle spawner. I don't know what the name was. I don't remember it at least. I'll have to look back through the video and see if it did mention what the name of it was at any point. And so, yeah, I couldn't spawn the vehicle. Then hoped maybe perhaps the mod had a solution. And when you do have this installed and are playing along, uh, there is on num on your numpad on your keyboard, you can hit nine and it'll bring up the options for the mod. And it doesn't have a way for me to get my shuttle back. Back, but we can move between the different scenes. So these are all the places we can explore in this mod. And, uh, yeah. So I just decided, what the heck, let's go back to space and uh, see what happens when we don't have a shuttle. And as you can see here, we just kind of float around in zero G with our spacesuit on. And actually, I kind of like that. I think it's cool. But we should go into something. So we're actually going to go and explore the moon. Now, I'm probably going to do a couple of episodes of this mod. So hopefully by the next episode, I can figure out what in the heck the shuttle is. So I can spawn a new one. But for now, let's actually go and explore the lunar surface. So let's bring back up the GTS options. Go to scenes and find... Aha, there we go. Moon surface. Excellent. Now, of course, normally you'd fly the shuttle there. And holy crap, aliens! Oh, oh, okay, come back, I need a ride. <laughs> okay, so yeah, there's aliens. I hope my gun works in space. Oh yeah, it does. And with the proper no sound, since you know, we are in space. Oh God, that hurt. Oh God, we are in zero G right now. Or well, not zero G, but lower Gs. Oh God, I'm going to die. I am going, I've, I've died. 
They all have... Yep, there we go. Killed in action. They all had rail guns. Ooh. Oh, there was a lunar lander there a second ago. Oh my god, can we escape here with a lunar lander? All right, first off, I need, to, I need to get shooting now. There we go. Just start shooting. Just start shooting. Go for headshots. Kill the aliens. Kill the vile alien scum. Oh, God, with the guns and the, why? Why must you have rail guns? All right, I've got most of them now. That's good. That's good. Oh, God, except I'm on the ground. Ah, fire, fire. Just crazily. All right, cool. I want one of their guns. Can I pick them up? <laughs> I don't have a real gun on this character. Okay, so yeah, we had, you know, your typical xenomorphs here. You fools. <laughs> you thought you could kill me a second time. All right, yeah, let's pick up some of these guns. Nice. <laughs> Oh yeah, look at that lunar lander! Oh my god, can we get a shuttle again now by taking off from the lunar lander? So yeah, that, um, we're on the moon. I'm kind of happy about that. We do seem to have some lower gravity-ish. I think me staying up in the air earlier was more of the fact that they were shooting me with, you know, <laughs> rail guns. Oh, uh, what is the rail gun under? Oh yeah. No, we only have seven shots. Eh, back to this gun. But yeah, so we are on the moon's surface with our awesome space suit. Oh god, they're coming back for another! Oh god, they have rocket launchers! Oh, oh god! <laughs> oh, oh boy, we have aliens. We have aliens everywhere. Oh jeez, that's not good. I need to get back out the railgun now. Okay, okay, and oh. No, god, he's hard to see with that. Since he is, you know black colored on the black color of space eat that I have five rounds left for this <laughs> he's coming around for another pass hit him good I probably should turn on infinite ammo here we go uh, oh Joe oh God yeah he is uh he is tough but he is smoking so he has taken damage that's good that's good we're finding an alien ship. Oh, hey, hey, he crashed. Perfect. Enemies eliminated. Uh, but, oh my god, I can plant a flag. We're planting a flag. Yes. <laughs> we have killed aliens, and we have planted a flag. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> Let's let's go to the lander. Hopefully this will actually give me a spaceship again. Oh, I miss my shuttle. I really do. All right, what are you? What are you? What are you? What are you? Laptop. Hello. How do I interact with you? Uh oh. 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 How do I interact with it? Oh God. <laughs> hmm. Can I get? No, you can't seem to get in there. How? Do I inter... Oh my god, it did say E to interact. I, it was covered up by my counter. Oh god, it took us back to... Back to here! We're on the planet again. Interesting. Oh no, where's my shuttle? <laughs> I think I destroyed our one and only space shuttle. Well, at least we do have the ability to, uh, you know, turn on the... Uh, Grand Theft Space, there we go, menu of with the numpad, which is wonderful. But, yeah, I actually think that's going to be it for the first video. We had us uh, doing our training mission. We then had us launching in a space shuttle. Me inevitably crashing it, which, I mean, was bound to happen with me flying anything. And then we fought some aliens on the moon. I am pretty happy with how all that went. And so, yeah, if, if you guys come back for another episode, hopefully if you did enjoy this one, we will go and explore the other worlds. I am intrigued to see how they are and, you know, what we can do on them and most likely other foul aliens that we'll encounter there. But yeah, that is going to be it for this episode, folks. I hope you all have enjoyed, and of course you do come back for the next. But until that time, thank you for watching, and as always, have a good one!